when it just sort of floats on down, right? And what's happening, well, at a certain speed, and at that terminal speed, the air force, the force of air friction equals the mass. So then the thing is, I have four air, like I'll do two and four, I guess that's probably the best way to do it. So now I have two air filters. And so I'm going to have the, uh, the, the same area, too, if I have two here. And which one's going to fall faster? Or will they fall at the same speed? This is two and this is one. Anybody guess? The two. This is where two's going to go faster, right? So it does go faster, but it doesn't go a lot faster. The question is, we can ask you, how much faster does this one go? Is it twice as fast, do you think? When this one is, I guess I'll start at my height. You can see the post start at mine, it's about 5'8, drop them, and it hits the ground right there. This one here was only there, it wasn't halfway. Mm -hmm. So it was not twice as fast. Okay, however, if you do four filters, which I just had sorted out here, I think this is four. So now, what, if it works like it should, that's twice as fast as that. So four, to, you know, four times the quantity, you get a factor of two, that's a, a, square, a square or a square root function. And so you can show that the force of air friction goes as the speed squared, because mm -hmm. it was four to one. Okay. Because the speed is related to... Uh, well, yeah, the air friction is, equal, is related to the, the mass when it's balanced. This had four times the mass, so twice the speed gave four times the air friction. So it goes as b squared in, in this particular you know, velocity regime. And you can, of course, do nine, double check again, for, and yeah, you, you can actually measure these things with the motions time. I don't know if you guys do that, measure with the motion time. And be a little more quantitative, but you can just see that. Uh, Having them do it themselves, they can get pretty close. Four, four and one is because this is nine to one. So this should go three times. So it sh this one should hit the ground. This one's about a third of my body height. Oop, right there. <laughs> Possibly. Again, you know, pointing out that uh, it's fun to look at the effect, but then if you can, try to see if there's any mathematics going on here. At high school, thinking of that. Middle school, it's not as easy.